Hey guys, happy 2020. It's Hope, welcome back to my channel. So, it's the New Year's, it's a new decade. Oh my gosh. When it comes to New Year's resolutions, they can always be a little bit unrealistic unachievable a bit too far out there so in today's video i'm going to be sharing ways in which you can make achievable realistic goals for the new year not only that i'm going to be sharing with you my new year's resolutions also i'm really excited to share a new series on my channel this month january is going to be a month of self-care self-care january if you will because so many people are looking for ways to take care of themselves better and they're setting all these resolutions for the year i thought what better way to do a self-care care series throughout the entire month of January. Anyway, let's get into the video with New Year's resolutions. New Year's resolutions. I wrote this on the 1st of January at 11.23pm and I'm not going to read through them all but a lot of them I actually did which I'm so proud. Things like taking care of my mental health I did which is such a priority in everybody's lives it should be and I definitely took 2019 to take care of my mental health through and through. Not only that but I also started going to church which was a goal that I wanted to achieve and I absolutely did that. Check that off the list and I'm so happy about that and just strengthening my relationship with Jesus. Also things like to not be afraid to do the things I love, make some new friends, be more creative, um, eat less meat, cut out milk totally. I did that, I'm still working on the meat thing, but I totally cut out milk last year. I love myself some oat milk now. So yeah, this some of my New Year's resolutions. I'll put them all by here, that I completed and I actually did for once, which is crazy cool. <laughs> So this is why I don't believe that New Year's resolutions work. With the goals that we often set, they're often really unachievable because they're too high. And this sort of example doesn't have to be focused on necessarily losing weight, gaining weight, being healthier, but it can be anything in life. It can be grades, followers, the amount of time I spend doing X, Y, Z. And I'm currently reading Get Your Shiz Together by Sarah and I. I saw this one chapter and it was on about goals and setting goals and achieving goals and why they often don't work and I really want to share it with you because I think it's some really insightful piece of advice. <laughs> Instead of daydreaming about the theoretical future of being richer, thinner or tidier, focus on not being broke, not being fat and messy in the here and now. Basically saying, what can I do today to attain those goals instead of thinking, oh in six months time I'll look like this and I would have lost this many pounds or I'll earn this much money. We sometimes focus so much on the future that we forget what we're doing in the present to make those subtle changes that in six months time we'll be like, I'm thankful I did that at that point because it's got me to where I am. I feel insightful, I feel smart, but that literally was not me it's this book and you this is not sponsored it really sounds like it is but it's such a good book hello from a different angle of my room so i just finished writing down all of my new year's resolutions for 2020 but i'm going to share some of my favorite and some of those that i want to achieve the most so let's go so one of my main goals for 2020 is to post a main channel video on my main channel every week i really want to try and stick with that goal it's not too much it's not too strenuous so that's one of my main goals for the year as well as reading one book a month because this time is so bad but for the past two years i haven't read a book front to cover I'm currently reading this book like i told you guys about earlier on and i just want to read a book a month because i think it'll really expand my knowledge it'll help my creative juices flow a bit more in my brain i also want to play my guitar for at least 10 minutes a day i used to be really good at doing this and i don't play guitar near enough as much as I should anymore and I really miss pay playing the guitar. I also want to continue and grow in my relationship with God and going to church and reading my Bible and stuff like that as well as just growing in self-love for myself and taking care of myself and just growing in love for myself as well. <laughs> So I'm gonna do my news resolutions bucket list on Adobe Sketch with my little stylus that I got off Amazon. But I'm gonna do it in the vibe of like Visco Girl summer bucket list and all that really cute sort of written out bucket list of things people wanna do. I did one last year for the summer. So 
So I just finished my New Year's resolution bucket list. I used Photoshop and Adobe Draw and it took me over an hour to do but I love how it turned out. This is what it looks like in all of its glory. Very pink, girly with all the little stars. If you want to make one of these New Year's resolutions bucket lists then please go ahead and tag me in it on Twitter or Instagram or just leave a comment down below as to what your New Year's resolutions are for this year as well. We can kind of support each other, encourage each other, motivate each other, get our shiz together <laughs> In this year. I just love New Year's resolutions videos. I just find it so interesting knowing what people's goals are and what they want to achieve throughout the year and seeing if they actually do achieve them. And I just really wanted to share with you tips and ideas on how to create authentic and realistic goals because that was really one of my main goals before setting goals for the new year. I'll leave a link down below to Sarah Knight's book. It's really really good. I absolutely love it. I'm just really excited for 2020 and I hope you guys are too and that pretty much sums up this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can subscribe, you can like, you can even share on social media, which I don't know if people do much, but you can, it's an option. Uh, all my social medias are down below. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on TikTok, I'm trying to become TikTok famous. I really hope that you had a great New Year's Eve and day and a safe one at that. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.